Just back under green at Martinsville as Old Navy presents the Old Dominion 500 on NBC. Caution for that 44 car with a harmless spin in turn four. He's continued away. Steve Grissom, tail end of the lead lap right now, just in front of leader Ward Burton. Also tail end of the lead lap, the 30 car of Jeff Green. And that pit strategy has shuffled up the running order of this race. Oh, yes, it did. Several cars stayed on the racetrack. About 10 of them, as a matter of fact. So we'll see with the used tires with 25 laps on them, how will they stack up against brand new ones? All right, let me run them down for you. Ward Burton, Jeff Burton, Johnny Benson, Ricky Craven, Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, Mark Martin, Bill Elliott, Kurt Busch, Steve Park, and Todd Bodine. Those 11 cars stayed out, did not pit. They assumed the top 11 spots for the restart. They had 25 more laps on their tires than the other guys. First off pit road was Jimmy Spencer. He restarted in 12th spot, just ahead of uh, Rusty Wallace and Tony Stewart. And already up to 10th. We got a couple of them already. So that's the situation as they go back under the green flag. NBCSports.com, jump over to the air desktop and log on. You can check out Wally's Winston Cup race preview. Did you say anything good? Uh, I say something good every week. Okay. And you can ask many of your NASCAR questions as oh, well. Oh, wow. Was that sideways? Including what happened there. <laughs> NBCSports.com Well, that was Hermes Sadler <laughs> in the 0-2 car being bumped by Ricky Craven and Jeff Gordon were side by side. I'm not sure which one it was that got in the back of uh, the 0-2 of Sadler. So there, you don't have to log on to ask Benny. He just explained it for you. Now you can give him another question. Mark Martin in the six. One of the guys who has the older tires on. Trying to fight there with Bill Elliott and the fresh tired Dodge of uh, Jimmy Spencer. On board with Mark Martin, the camera and the front bumper of the Viagra Ford as he tries to they get in front of the 41 car. Look at that left rear tire, VP. That thing looks like a top fuel car. Matt, what you got on the 41? Well, Benny, he, when he pitted, he only took on two tires. Remember, earlier in the race, Spencer ran 54 laps on two tires and held his own. They went for track position on this stop. The left sides have 25 more laps. They feel like there's going to be more caution soon. They went for track position instead of fresher rubber. More caution soon. Fair bit. Yep. You know, we were talking about earlier, Joe Nemechek and um, his car being sort of sideways on, on his pit box. And what happened to get him that way? Well, it involved Dale Earnhardt Jr. Had a collision leaving his pit box. And as we watch Mike Wallace slow down. It looks like he's got a flat, maybe. Left rear? Yeah, I would say left rear. Yep. Sure is. It's amazing how these guys today with these tires have been able to drive through traffic with a flat tire and no one run over them. A.J. Foyt's team goes to work. Okay, back to Dale Jr. for a minute. He made contact with Nemechek trying to leave his box and this discussion ensued. I know, but I tore most, most of my car up in the pits today. You know, stuff that shouldn't be happening at all, really. But, I mean, I know it's tight. I'm not, I wasn't accustomed to you, Tony. You know better than that. I'm, I'm smarter than that. But I just got to have some help. Tell them guys to do something. Get on them on that 25 team. It's hard when, when you're in your pit lane and they drop the jack, you go. As a driver, that is your cue to go. And if they don't tell you another car is coming, you cannot see a car coming on your right when you're in pit lane. So it's up to the crew guys to say go or wait a minute, you got a car high. Junior right now running back in 19th spot. Hey, Wally. Yes, sir. Remember a couple of weeks ago uh, we did that pit stop and Craven's guys were yelling at one of the guys on the pit stop to get the tape off the front of the grill? 
Yeah, they were yelling at, at to make sure they got that tape off the grill, and somebody asked me, well, why didn't they just click the radio and tell the guy to take the tape off the grill? The reason for that is exactly what you're talking about. The crew chief is talking to the driver, and under that situation with the wacky rules of Talladega, they were walking their driver through the pit stops, holding them because they wanted to make sure they got all the fuel in there. So yeah. that's why that time they were yelling at him because a lot of times the crew chief is using the radio to talk to the driver. Well, that's right, Bill. The driver is so keyed into what these guys are saying because they don't want to leave too early. And like I said, normally when the tr tr when the jack drops, that's your key. But places like Talladega where you're trying to get extra fuel in or things like that, you're counting on your team to tell you when to go. Rusty Wallace working on Jimmy Spencer. Eighth place. And here comes Tony Stewart in the 20. As we said, both these cars stopped, changed four tires. Jimmy Spencer only changed two tires. Notice that a lot of these fenders are not as pretty as they were a couple of hundred laps ago. I think a lot of that's from the pits. <laughs> By the looks of it, pit lane. Who was it? Robbie Gordon said, I have two friends on this car, my right and left fenders. Yeah. And I want to keep them as straight as I possibly can. saw earlier Rusty Wallace and Dale Earnhardt Jr. bouncing off each other, the two beer wagons kind of using up the sides of each other's cars. This is what Rusty had to say about it a moment ago. Hey, what are you seeing so far? I think when you're running all this traffic, uh, you're doing everything you can do. I, I think you're fine. Uh, he did a good job with Earnhardt. Good job with him. Hey, he was fixing to go on a helicopter ride there if he kept it up. Talking about going back home. Yeah. And, and I don't just, think so. He was talking about going doom, 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 360 on the racetrack. Yeah. His helicopter ride that he was referring to. Two and 20, eighth and ninth spots. And Ricky Rudd trying to get 10th from Jimmy Spencer. That 28 car with that wonderful rally from two laps down. What damage here on the front of uh, Tony's right front fender. Sure is. I don't know if that happened this, just this last little bit or not. Yeah, because I didn't see that earlier. I didn't either. And here comes Rudd by Spencer and Dale Jarrett now creeping into the picture. Haven't called his number much all day. Ward Burton and Jeff Burton, South Boston, Virginia brothers, are out in front of the Old Dominion 500 at Martinsville. Are on NBC from Martinsville Speedway in Virginia, 86,000 on hand to see the Old Dominion 500. We've just gone under caution. We'll show you the reason in a moment. First pit stops for the leaders, Matt. A big debate whether Jeff Burton should come or not. Paul Andrews finally made the decision to hit pit road. They made a wedge and air pressure adjustment on the last stop. He was a little loose, Marty. Tony Stewart now running sixth. The concern, the right front fender damage. The car is excellent. He's very frustrated with the traffic, Bill. Ward Burton said that his car had lost all grip. He really needed the caution. It's four tires, a pound out of the left rear, and fuel. Dave. Ricky Craven said his car had tightened up, but Mike Beam's crew chief told him that's the worst set of tires he'll have all day. High spring rates will make it better with this set of tires. Ricky's gone. How about that junior, Ricky Craven, the 10 car, Jeff Gordon, Jeff Burton, and then Ward Burton, all pit road. Wow, what a mix-up. Reason for the caution flag would be... Well, the... 11 car, Brett Bodine coming off turn two. Gets in the back of Joe Nemechek, and Nemechek goes spinning into the inside retaining wall. Joe on pit road getting service to his car. Jeffrey Bodine's going to be the leader. He did not stop under this caution. 